time that I have been dreading. I'm finally doing the organize my clutter, declutter my closet challenge. I don't know if it's a challenge, it's something that you guys requested. It's definitely gonna be a challenge for me. I've put this off for so long and here we are. It's time to get it done. You guys are very kind and you think I'm organized in my life and you wanted to see how I organize my closet. And yes, generally I am a very organized person. With work, I certainly have to be. And at home, clutter drives me crazy. I don't like things out on the counter, that sort of thing. But when it comes to my closet, I struggle. And I don't know why I struggle. I try, I really do. I try to keep it organized. And then I just resort to kind of avoiding my closet unless I have to take like work clothes out of there and then just take stuff from my drawers. I live in the same five outfits, yet I have a million things. Also, with that being said, I am not doing a purge today. Uh, we've only lived in this house for seven or eight months now. And before we lived here, we lived in a hotel for six months because my condo flooded. If you're new to the channel, I can link that video down below for you. Uh, so when I was picking up my condo and moving to the hotel, I only took a certain amount of clothes. And when we were living in the hotel thinking we were moving back into the condo, I was like, I'm getting rid of everything. I don't want clutter. We've lived a simple life in this hotel. Like we don't have a ton of stuff. We don't need all of this stuff. And so it wasn't that long ago that I cleaned out my closets that I had in my condo and um, donated a bunch of stuff. I got rid of so much stuff. So I feel like I'm pretty much keeping everything in my closet today. I just need a better solution for everything that's in my closet today. And it was only seven or eight months ago that I did another inventory on all of the clothes that I own. So let's get this started. All right, so this is our walk-in closet. Um, I didn't clean it because I figured that's the point of making this video. So I've got a couple shoe racks there on the bottom and then miscellaneous shoes. I did a video about my private flight attendant wardrobe, so that's why I have that stuff out. And this is Johnny's section. Notice how clean it is and notice how nicely his shoes are organized. Like that's lovely. And then we get to my section and it's just a disaster. I've got three drawers. This one is socks. Those are jeans. Those are bras. And then just clothes, clothes, clothes. And some shoes and my nice bags haphazardly placed up there. And then there's this monstrosity. These are just like plastic bins from college days. And the bottom is swimsuit cover-ups, then swimsuits, then sweatpants, then leggings, like gym leggings. Uh, shorts are in here. And this one is open because I can't even shut it. These are all workout tops. And then the top just became like a dumping ground for sh We're city livers, so we don't have a ton of closet space. So a while ago, I purchased these hangers where you could hang clothes five down, thinking that would be great. And I can't even like really access the back of there because I've got shelves everywhere. Oh, you know what? I even have more shelves down here. God only knows what we're gonna find. You can't even see it, but I have a shelf full of camisoles and then the one under there is sweatshirts. And then a package, I don't even know what's in here. Perfume, by the way, if you're looking for a good scent. This is my favorite, it's Miyake. Uh, some more shoe boxes, a Nordstrom box, just a mess. In my brain, this is organized. These first few hangers are all blouses that I wear for work. And then going back are like all of my go-to tops. Like this is stuff that I wear all the time. And then this was easy for me to shove in a corner because this is stuff that I don't wear all of the time. Um, and then I've got like some dresses back here, Yankees jersey naturally, just stuff. So it makes sense for me, but it's clutter. It's chaos. I love watching organizing videos and seeing like those dreamy walk-in closets. Granted, we don't have the space for a dreamy walk-in closet, um, but I just want a closet I can walk into and not feel like, oh my God, why is there so much stuff in here? I don't know. So I'm sure I'm gonna come across some things that I don't want. Um, I looked up like organizing tips and there's three general rules that pretty much everyone follows. So if it doesn't fit you, get rid of it. If it's worn out, get rid of it. And if you haven't worn it in over a year, 
get rid of it. Like I said, it wasn't that long ago that I did all of that, but also I'm bound to find something in here that's not really needed. So I guess like my big problem area is this big stack of stuff that I need to get rid of. So I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna take the bins out of my closet, empty the bins and go from there. I have so much space now uh, and I did go on Amazon to look for storage solutions but I haven't purchased anything yet because I figured I should see what I really need like get in here and kind of assess the space a little bit more um, so yeah nothing new has been purchased yet this video has the potential to be a two-part uh, video just in case I do end up buying stuff but right now I'm just happy with the space I have and I found this painting tucked behind these guys in my closet. I painted this last year and I forgot about it and I actually really like it. And so now I think on top of getting organizational tools for my closet, I've got to get a picture frame for this. You can tell Lola's pretty content. Hi baby girl. You like laying on all those clothes? I should just leave it here. And then this one, he's just supervising from my bed. Good job, Logan. All right, so these were the little drawers I wasn't able to show you with um, sweatshirts, sweatshirts, and then camisoles that were hiding behind those big plastic bins. So I figure since this pile is the smallest, this is what I'm gonna go through first just to see if there's anything I wanna get rid of. I found a sweatshirt that I love that I forgot about and I feel so shameful even saying that. Um, and then I have one questionable item. I love it. I love it, but do people even wear Juicy Couture anymore? And how gaudy is this? I would probably never ever leave the house wearing something like this, but I love it and I feel like it's just not time for me to get rid of it yet. That pile was a bunch of scarves and then clothes that I need to put back in my closet and I have like a beanie and a beret and that big fluffy hat. One of my purses, I found a fanny pack in there. This is the cover to a shoe organization thing of Johnny's. And then two onesies. One is a Princess Leia onesie and one is that beautiful Christmas onesie. And then Johnny had a bunch of stuff piled up. So it's not all totally my mess. Oh, also. This belt was my grandma's. It's a snake and it wraps around. I love it. I've never worn it, but it was my grandma's, so I'm gonna keep it. But I also feel like I will wear this at some point in my life. And then I found this order of a bunch of clothes and jewelry from so long ago. I ordered this stuff when we were living in the hotel and I guess I never unpacked it because I knew we would be moving again. Um, but I got these great earrings. This is all from Shein. More great earrings. These I thought I would wear on, ignore my nails, on one of my island trips. And I completely forgot about them. And then these earrings. And then just three black shirts. Because that's what I need more of in my life.
I now have an empty drawer in here. I put all of my sweats with the sweatshirts since I had extra room. And then the bikini drawer, or the bathing suit drawer, hold on, is now organized. I rolled up the bottoms. I have the one pieces underneath the tops and then the tops up here. So we're making progress. Well, so far I'm getting rid of a bunch of cover-ups and I don't know where, where the top to this bikini is. Um, and I'm getting rid of this one. I love it. And I'm proud to say it still fits. I've had it since I was 18, but I just haven't worn it in a while. So I think it's time to go. I cleared out my extra perfume and currently the box is housing scarves and the beanie and beret that I found. Um, so obviously I need storage solutions for this on Amazon. I'm adding it to my list. All right, I've got the rubber drawers back in the closet, but they're organized. One of them is even empty and they all close now. So at this level, I would like to put shelves so we can use this space for storage. Um, this is just like my little makeshift tray of accessories. Those are the scarves and everything. I found some sunglasses, but I wanna get a cute tray to set on top of new shelves. So I'm gonna measure this and I would like to get like maybe something brass. I like Lucite or that acrylic look um, to store all of these clothes, but I would just like something that's a little prettier. So what I'm really excited about is now my jewelry box. Yes, it's a toolbox, but it's also my jewelry box. This now fits in my closet. I used to store this in our bathroom, just in the bathroom closet, and now I can have it next to my clothes so I can pair everything perfectly. Um, this for sure is a good organization tip. Everything stays perfect in here. Like I've got some bracelets in there and I've got like just bracelets all throughout these big compartments. And then in these smaller ones, like I've got a bunch of rings and like this is not expensive jewelry. This is just costumey stuff. Oh, and I have a bullet. That's exciting. I should put that with a gun. Um, just costumey jewelry kind of stuff that I keep in here. But ever since I started organizing this way, it's like so easy to find all of my things. Like the earrings stay together. There's another pair. Some more earrings. It's just perfect for organizing your things. I went through my hanging clothes. I touched every piece. They are all still in good shape. They're things that I've worn within the past year and things that I do plan on wearing relatively soon. Just a matter of time before I can get through all of them. So I'm not getting rid of anything that's hanging. And so for my shoes, I think I'm just gonna stack the boxes all the way up. We have a very tall closet and we have a step stool that we keep behind the door. That's how he gets to all his shoes that are up there. Um, but these are not all my shoes and these down here don't complete my shoes. I actually have another closet downstairs. It's a room that has been converted to a closet. It's not a huge room, um, but it's like storage slash we have the litter box in there. This way our guests don't ever see it slash mud room slash an addition to my closet. So that's where I have like my dresses, my hats, all of my purses, the remainder of my shoes, and then we keep our winter coats in there. So I don't know if I should just move all my shoes into that room. Although what would I do with that space up there? I don't really know. I think I'll just stack these shoes for now. Uh, the ones that I have here in the closet in my master bedroom are the ones that I wear most often or like ones that I wanna take on trips with me. Like my work shoes are just hanging out because they're not in my suitcase. So I'll keep up with the two closet situation, have some of my shoes here, most of my shoes downstairs. It's been working for this long.
it look totally different? No. Do I have a better idea of what I need to purchase to make this a good functioning closet? Yes. I'm gonna deal with the shoe situation how it is for now. Um, I know he's got like the nice looking boxes. These are just Target shoes. Like I don't really wear expensive shoes. So I'm just gonna store mine in the boxes that they came in and keep it like that. So that's my donation pile. Not a ton of stuff to get rid of, but any less clutter is better for the situation that I'm currently in. So was this helpful? Did you guys like it? Do you wanna see what I get on Amazon? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, please share your tips with me in the comment section down below for how to make a small closet space a good functioning space. If you guys are looking for me on social media, my Twitter is at Jack Travels, that's J-A-C Travels. My Instagram is the same thing as it is here on YouTube, Jacqueline Travels. Please leave me a thumbs up for this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.